Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, you will learn how to add a review schema or star rating to your WordPress products using a free plugin called Ultimate Editorial Rating. With the help of this free plugin, we can easily attract more visitors and boost our online sales and revenue. Let me show you how. If I search something in Google, for example, Camtasia, this is a product, we can see this type of star rating on different websites. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video that how we can add these type of ratings to our products. Now these are looking very attractive and trustworthy so people will click on these websites instead of these and in this way we can increase our click through, we can increase our traffic and revenue. And let me show you a live example. And this is an example from the theme demo. You can see we can add this type of product rating to our website. This is the URL rating and this is the product name, a buy now button. And then this is the star rating based on 10 users. So we can also collect user reviews and we can add our own review as well. And we can then cross review them that I'll show you later on. This is the product image. We can add these type of features to the products, pros and cons, then bottom line. And this is for taking the user survey or rating. If I click here, I can easily give this rating and now this will be based on 11 users. We can also add this editorial rating to our sidebar like this. And now let me show you how we can achieve this on our website. So this is my website and I will add a Camtasia review on this website, okay? So to add that, let's go to our WordPress dashboard to install that free plugin. And here I'll go to plugins, add new. And here we'll search for ultimate editorial rating. Once you search that plugin, you will see this ultimate editorial rating. This is by Pluginic. Just install and activate it. And once you activate the plugin, it will take you to its dashboard where you can learn more about this plugin by watching this video and you will also see all these tabs today review cross ratings and blogs and so on these are some pro features if you want you can upgrade to the pro version that i'll cover later on in this video and then these are some ratings from the user now to add a review just go to add review and now you can write a title for your review like i am just taking camtasia for example you can add any product review here okay and then we can select a theme so here we have this one theme for free and other in the freemium version that we will discuss later on for now let's go with the free one we can add this type of look on our website okay then scroll down this is the maximum width 900 you can increase and decrease it based on your blog post or your page then this is the title for the product okay so i'll write something like this and then we will add a product description let me just copy something from here then scroll down here we can add the product image let's remove this and upload a new one i'll just use the Camtasia logo okay this will be the product image then you can show or hide the updated date that you see over here okay and this is the date label so last updated or you can add a custom date for it okay leave this blank if you want to display the updated date from this post okay so if you leave this blank this will show the post updated date okay then scroll down this is the editorial rating bar so here we can write the category name then category rate okay let me show you you can see these features we can add different features to our products like these okay so first we will write something like screen recording we will give this 9 rating then another this will be 8 for example then 9 okay so here you can add multiple features with its rating and you can add more if you want to let's remove it and then we have progress bar animation so if i refresh this page you will notice animations here okay that you see here and then scroll down we have pros and cons where you can display different features in pros and cons like advantages and disadvantages that you see over here okay pros and cons if you want to add them to your product just write anything over here okay i'll leave these as default just to show you an example okay and then you can hide and show the button which is most important let me show you this is the buy now button here you can change the button text and then the link you can change it to something like purchase now, get it now or something or buy now is fine. And this is most important. Here you can write your affiliate link instead of this. Okay. So instead of the regular link, you can put up your affiliate link. You can increase your affiliate commission and so on. Then you can open this in a new tab and turn the button link into nofollow. 
this is better for SEO as well. So you can change this link based on your need. Let's scroll down. Product name linked. So yes, if you want to link the product name to this same link. And product image linked. Yes. If I hover over here, this will also be linked to some website. Also the name and the buy now button. Then this is the user rating. If you want to collect user surveys, you can just buy the pro version. We will see this later on. So in this way, you can get your first rating. Let's scroll up and let's just publish it. And once you publish it, you will get this short code that you can display on any page or sidebar. Let's copy it and let's edit that blog post. So I'll go to posts and this is for Camtasia. I'll edit this. Now I can display that rating anywhere on this page. Let's click here, then enter. Then we can add a short code by pressing this plus. This is the short code and we will add that short code over here. That's it. Let's save it and we it scroll down and you can see the rating over here so 8.7 is the rating this is the title by now then we have added these features this is the logo pros and cons bottom line and this is for the user rating so this is how you can add a product rating to your wordpress website easily by using this plugin now if you go to the plugin demo you can see we have different looks available and we also have cross rating so let's see how we can achieve this by buying the pro version and to get the pro version just follow the first link in the description which will take you to this page scroll up and here you can go to pricing and you can buy the personal plan for one domain one year plugin update one year priority support and so on this is for five domains and this is for unlimited domains so these are yearly pricing if you go to lifetime this is one time fee okay and they also have bundle with different plugins that we will cover in the upcoming videos okay so you can get the plugin based on your need and once you buy the pro version you will get a zip file like this that you can upload to your wordpress dashboard let me show you we will go to our wordpress dashboard then go to plugins add new upload plugin choose file and here we can upload that plugin we can also drag it over here and install now and you can see we have the free version and we have uploaded the pro version we can just replace it okay so just click on replace with current upload and that's it now if i go to ratings and before using the pro version we will need to activate its license that you will get from that website okay just click on activate license and write your license code here and just paste it write your email and then click activate and that's it the status is valid and now we can use the pro version if i go to all reviews and edit the first one that we just added now all these will be unlocked okay so i can use any of these and let's use this one okay and uh, we also have the user rating available now so you can change the text for it or you can hide and show it then if you go to colors you can also customize these colors based on your website and color schemes and typography where you can change the heading font family body font family product name and all other typography options and then just click on update to save your changes and now let's check our review this was the first look if i refresh it we got another look and we also have this user rating available now if I read it something like this, we have one vote. This is from user rating, okay? And if I refresh it, you can see we have user rating four. This is from one vote. So in this way, you can use the pro version. Now let me show you the cross rating as well. And before using the cross rating, we will need to add a category. So just click on add new category and then write the category name. Let's say software and new category added, okay? now we will also need to add a new review to this same category okay so let me add that quickly i'll just use their demo name and then we'll choose the same category and we'll publish it and now if i go to cross rating we will add a new one and here we can write a name for it let's say and then select rating category so here we will choose that category and then you can select a theme for it like these Let's go with the first one. Scroll down. You can change the layout to horizontal or vertical. Then the total rating. How many rating you want to display on a page? Okay. 
Then you can enable and disable these options to show and hide the section title, the product image, the category list and so on. And this is the brand color if you want, you can change it. Scroll up and just publish it. And again you will get a short code that you can display on any page. And this time let's add this to a page. So let's go to pages, add a new page. I will call this and we can write any text and you can add blocks to this page and then we will add that short code. We will publish it and let's view this page and here we go we have cross rating for their product. So in this way you can display cross rating on any page or post. So this was ultimate editorial rating from Pluginic. You can explore this plugin by going to the link in the description. You can explore the demos. You can learn more about this plugin. The plugin link is in the description. And to learn more about WordPress, just follow my channel. Still, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.